Hi, my name is Katherine Guidry, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I back up every single wedding I photograph. If you're a wedding photographer and you're looking to grow in your business, be sure to check out our free posing and pricing guides in the description below. But in this video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna actually be screen sharing with you and showing you in a walkthrough how I back up a wedding. This video is incredibly important because it will keep you organized and keep your images safe during the duration of your processing the edits for your client so that you can deliver a beautiful gallery to them in the end. Preferably the night of the wedding, if not, I am taking those cards with me everywhere I go, and then um, I back up on Monday at the latest. So right now, I am backing up from my CF Express cards because these do tend to back up more quickly than my SD cards. On my desktop, I have an edit folder. This is where I'm gonna keep all of the weddings that I'm you know, working on or within kind of like a six month window of. So I just put the date in, I do start with the year, so that it puts them in the proper order and then i'll name it and if i have a wedding and a rehearsal dinner i'll you know create two separate folders for this one i just have a wedding and we have two shooters so i have a camera one folder and a camera two folder in that folder i'm going to be dropping only the raw files i do not delete any cards until a wedding has been completely uploaded, edited, and delivered to the client. This has happened before where images did not get transferred over to the hard drive for whatever reason. And because of that, I don't delete anything until the client has actually put their eyes on the files. I am currently backing up another wedding. We had two weddings this weekend, and so my computer's running a little bit slower than normal. Yeah, so I'm gonna drag all of those images over. Like I said, the CF Express cards, if your camera does shoot with that type of card, it does transfer over so much faster than the SD cards. I'm checking this other folder just to make sure. If I have multiple folders inside of here, I am also going to be checking all of those folders and also at the very bottom, I'm gonna check for movie files because sometimes we'll do like little video clips and stuff like that. Not always, not, a, not for every wedding, but if there's a toast or something like that, sometimes we'll do that. So while those are transferring over, I'm gonna hop over here into Lightroom and I'm gonna create what's called a collection set. Inside of that collection set, that's where I'm gonna drop the images. So I just name it, you know, after the couple, that's gonna be like the main header here. And then within that collection set, I create a collection. So we're gonna have a camera one collection and a camera two. So I'm just kind of setting everything up while the files are transferring over. It just kills a little bit of time, helps things move along more quickly. Okay, so now I'm set up in Lightroom for once those images are transferred over, I can just drag and drop them in there. And as you can see, they're already starting to copy. I'm also gonna go into Dropbox. So what I'm doing in Dropbox is I am setting up folders to have a cloud backup. While we're working on a wedding, we do keep all of the images on the cloud as well as on a physical hard drive here on my computer. The reason for that is because, you know, if something physical happened to my home, my computer, I don't want to be in a situation where I only had that one physical copy. I want everything backed up immediately following the wedding on the cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder inside of Dropbox and I'm going to name it again after the couple. So 2023-01-2-0, Claire Collins and Williams Sinak. And same thing, inside of this folder, I'm going to create a camera one folder. And I'm going to go back into the main folder and create a camera two folder. So like I said, this is just giving me peace of mind when I am away from my desk, away from my computer. I know that if anything happens, I can access these files from the cloud. Highly suggest this. This is something that you absolutely should have um, some sort of Dropbox folder or somewhere to put these these files. And then lastly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a collection here in Zenfolio. So I actually use 
two different image gallery systems. See, I do try to put the locations here in Zenfolio. This just makes it really nice and searchable. Like if a new client comes in and they're working with me or wanting to work with me and they have a specific location, I can say, oh, you know, let me see if I've shot at that location before. So what I'm doing here is I'm just starting. I'm not gonna be doing any quote backing up here except for if there were video files. So like, as you can see for this wedding here, we had some video clips. I do store video clips in Zenfolio because of the cost for doing that. It's you know much cheaper and I can keep it in here, no, no cost added to my Zenfolio subscription. I do also use PickTime to store images, but what I'm gonna be doing inside of here is when I prepare their previews, they are gonna go inside of Zenfolio. Eventually when the wedding is edited, I'm also gonna have that stored in here, but for now I'm just gonna create that preview folder and that will then be ready to go when those previews are ready. All right, so it looks like camera one here is almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this camera one folder in Dropbox just so that it's ready to go when those images have been finished copying over. And then I'm gonna create a separate tab for camera two. Anyway, if you have any questions at any point during this video, feel free to drop it in the comments. I do read all the comments on the videos and I'm happy to help. Okay, so we're gonna go back into that edit folder. And if you're listening to this, um, the audio version on the podcast, you can actually watch the visual version of this on YouTube. All right, so we're gonna click on wedding and we're gonna open up camera two. I could technically drag and drop all of the images into like one Dropbox, but I find that this works better. It just, it ends up with less errors during the actual upload. So I usually end up one with one tab here for camera one, one tab here for camera two. Like this wedding that I'm uploading right now is doing uh, the video clips inside of Zenfolio. But for this one, we'll just do previews and then we have our Lightroom set up right here. So in just a minute, all those images are gonna be finished here with camera one. And we're gonna start the actual uploads into Lightroom for that first camera set. So we're gonna go into Lightroom. We're gonna go file, import. I'm gonna select a source. One thing that I do as part of my post-processing is I actually have worked with someone to help me with my culling and we use Imogen to run the edits through and then she kind of assists me with my cropping. And so I need to make sure that when I am importing this wedding, so I'm gonna import first here, camera one, that over here on the right, I have out, I have that I'm building out previews and I do also tend to build the smart previews. If I don't have that toggled, that's no problem as long as I export the smart previews with the catalog. So I can hopefully show you that without having all the images fully rendered, but um, we can go ahead and build them out now. And then we're gonna import as well. While that's starting the import process, I'm gonna eject this card and I'm gonna start the next card and I'm gonna open up the folder for camera two, and I'm gonna start looking for those photos now. This is gonna be my second shooter's card. Yes, and I can see those images popping up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the raw files, drag and drop those in, and I'm also... My computer's working overtime here. It's getting so hot on my laptop, I can feel the fan working. And this is you know, why it's really important to have a really good computer, really good internet in full, I can't think of the word, like exposure. I actually can't even upload weddings from my house. My internet is not good enough. And so when I am uploading you know, this much into Dropbox to put it on the cloud and doing you know, this type of internet transfer, I actually have to go to an alternate location with fast enough internet speed to get it done. And so you, you, know, you do what you have to do, but I highly recommend a fast internet speed for this type of work on your computer to get those images up onto the cloud. I would not sacrifice it. Even if your internet is not good like mine, you know, do your research, figure out if there's like a library, um, a coffee shop, somewhere that you can get those files up and online. Yeah, what I wanted to do here was just to rename this the locations. Again, that's just so later on I can search. So this is an example of when there are multiple folders within the CF Express card. Some of these folders may be older, having had the images deleted, it looks like right now, this folder is an example of that, but I do want to give it ample time to make sure that, you know, 
we have everything like emptied and then it looks like there's none. So I'm just gonna delete that folder. Same here, it looks like uh, it is uploading an alternate folder. So I wanna check that one, see what's inside of this folder, make sure that we're not forgetting any images on the card. This is really important. I've definitely made this mistake before. And then all of a sudden, you know, I get the images and I'm up looking at my computer and I'm thinking, wait, where are all the rest of the files? So definitely wanna give your card time to load, check to make sure that you're not forgetting anything important here. It does look like this is from another event. I'm just gonna scroll down, checking that last JPEG there. Yes, this is for another event. Okay, so wow, camera two has already transferred. All right, so we're gonna pop back into Lightroom. All of these, these images have been imported, so I'm gonna select all and drag those photos into camera one. And as you can see, the previews and the smart previews are building out right now for those photos. Highly recommend doing this. Is it gonna take more time on the front end? Yes, but when you go to do your calling, especially if you're outsourcing any of this work to someone else, it saves a ton of time on the back end. So. This is one of the good things about downloading the wedding the night of is that, you know, you go to bed, your images are backing up, you kind of sleep through the night while your computer is still working and it, you don't have to worry about the fact that you can't really like use your computer a whole lot whenever you're using all the memory and all of that for the backup. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to camera two. You know, this is something that I really was excited to show in this video because when you're starting your business, or even sometimes when you've been running it a while, it's nice to see how people organize. How are people keeping this number of photos organized and safe place? What's the system look like? And so I really hope that this helps some of you guys get into a place where your workflow is streamlined and backed up and safe and organized so that you can do two weddings in a weekend like we did or however many weddings per year and you're not scrambling looking around for images or trying to stay organized as these images are importing i'm just going to wait for them all to be inside of lightroom and then what i want to do is show you guys the process of what i do i'm not going to actually do the export but how i export a catalog to my editor so these are all populating right now these won't be like fully rendered yet but i can see this bar here when it's fully to the end i'll know okay all the photos have been actually put in okay so i'm going to select all drag into camera two all right so what i do when it's time i'm not going to do it right now because as you can see these images are still rendering so when i go to send this to my editor i'm going to click on the, the collection set. You don't wanna be in just a collection. You wanna be inside the whole collection set. That's important. Then you're going to export as catalog. Go to that folder there. And then I would just name it Claire William Catalog. And make sure that you have toggled build slash include smart previews. So just in case, for whatever reason, you didn't build out the smart previews, you do have that built out for your editor. This makes things a lot easier for them so that they don't have to sit and wait for all of these previews and smart previews to actually build out. So I'm gonna just leave my computer, I'm gonna let these finish, and then I'm gonna make sure that I drag and drop these folders into Dropbox so that they are in fact backing up to the cloud. This is again gonna give me such peace of mind knowing that my images are safe and online if anything happens to my computer. All right, so we're gonna drag camera one first into Dropbox, and this bears repeating as well. The cards that these images are on, the ones that we just dragged the photos off of, they will not be formatted. These images will not be deleted until the images have been called, edited, and sent to the client, and the client has actually laid eyes on them. When that has happened, it is only then that I will actually delete those files. It's not until those files have been reviewed and all that, because like I said, sometimes, you know, things get overlooked, they get missed. There are other places that you can do online backup. For example, even in Zenfolio, you can do raw file storage, but I just find Dropbox to be like really easy and convenient and, you know, really fast. They don't charge outside of whatever you're paying in your Dropbox plan. Whereas, for example, I think with Zenfolio, they do charge a little bit extra for that month on top of your subscription. And once these are backed up, I will leave my computer. I will let all of this back up. I will let all of the images render. I'm just gonna leave my computer alone for a couple of hours. And then I'm gonna come back to my computer and start working in Lightroom 
on the files. But this is the process that I go through for every single wedding. It doesn't take terribly long. I'm gonna have to go back and see how long this video is when it's complete, but I have to say it is so worth it to have a system in place and to just feel like things are organized, they're backed up, and I can have peace of mind about where my images are and how they're stored. So that's it. After they, these are rendered, I'm gonna export that catalog to my editor, and then when it's done, she's gonna send it back to me. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.